So I went on a little bit of a road trip yesterday. I went out to Freehold, New Jersey to a place called From the Garden. And that's where I bought my bees this year. And when I bought my bees, I met a guy named Drew. And it turns out that Drew just knows a lot of stuff. He's, he's one of those guys who makes you realize that you don't know as much as you thought you knew. So he knows everything from welding to, to gardening to beekeeping on a much larger scale. I, mean, I think he's got a couple hundred hives. Uh, to woodworking, all kinds of stuff. So anyway, uh, once I met him, I knew I wanted to go back one day with my camera, and that's what I did yesterday. And to do that, I made this little setup for my iPhone. I wanted to use my iPhone because my, my iPhone tends to stay in focus more than my other camera does. So this worked out great. It worked, I thought it was working really good. And then just to make it work a little bit better, I ended up attaching this little steady cam, and this turned out to be one of the easiest things I've ever done. It's as simple as putting a two and a half pound weight on the end of my tripod, and then a screw so the weight doesn't fall off. And now I've got a, a pretty nice uh, system to walk around and take pretty steady video. So let's take a closer look at it, and maybe you want to make one for yourself. The first part is the bottom here and you can see I've made an attachment for my tripod and this bottom piece measures 6 inches by just a little bit more than 2 and a quarter but 2 inches would be fine. The next piece is the front and again this is about 2 and 3 eighths and I'd say that's about right and this is by six inches. So what I did was nail the front piece with two nails into the bottom piece. And then you have the sides and these are an inch and five eighths by two and three quarters and you can see this is built very roughly so really it's just to uh, get it close and if, if I wanted to make something nicer I would take this design and and then refine it a little bit but right now I'm just using it as a it's just a, a workhorse it's something to use out in the field and it doesn't really need to be too pretty I ended up cutting this side down so I could get the microphone jack into or I could get the microphone into the microphone jack or or the earphone jack here the phone slides into place and I have a piece of foam here and this is something that I've ripped down on the table saw. It's just blue insulation foam held on with a piece of double-sided carpet tape and then this is a piece of half-inch plywood. This piece I would make a little bit lower. This is almost a half of an inch. I would probably make it a quarter of an inch and the reason for that is when the foam slides in it's it's kind of hard to get to your buttons so that would be nicer if it was a little bit lower you do need to have this piece here because that helps keep the phone from rocking back and forth and you can see that the phone's really in here pretty good it's, it's pretty strong and stable once it's in place so you want to make this with a snug fit at first I wasn't using a microphone with this setup so I made this attachment to attach this to the top of the tripod but then after using it I realized that the sound quality of the iPhone on its own really isn't very good so I drilled a small hole in the bottom of the holder I guess and this taps right into the wood and now I have a way to hook up my Rode shotgun mic. Then I thought it would be a good idea to attach a steady cam to the bottom of the system. And so I pulled the top of my tripod out of my tripod. I'm not sure if everybody's works the same. Obviously, it probably doesn't. But basically, I've got a tripod that I can now hold like this. And I can clip the attachment into my tripod the same way I do my camera. And then to add a little weight to the bottom, I've got a two and a half pound plate and just a screw 
that fits through this hole. I didn't drill this hole, it was already here. And that just helps to keep everything a little bit steadier as you're walking around in the field. Okay, so I should have that video up by Sunday. And it's going to be a longer video because I didn't want to cut a lot of it out. I find that stuff really interesting and I hope you do too. It was, it was a great experience for me and for my son Walter. I brought my middle son Walter with me. And uh, it was great for him to see all the work that goes into keeping a garden center and keeping bees. And uh, it was just a, a, a really cool experience. They had an indoor beehive where the bees would get into the hive through a tube cut into the side of the building. Uh, so all kinds of cool stuff. And um, again, I hope I have that up by Sunday. If this is the first time that you've tuned into my channel, I'd love it if you'd subscribe and uh, follow me on Facebook and Instagram. And also check out my weekly eBay auctions. Each week I put one of my original paintings, one or two, this week I have two original paintings up for auction. And this week is a painting of the Sandy Hook Bay and a painting inspired by my visit to From the Garden yesterday. So I hope you'll check those out. There'll be a link in the description. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you soon.